Hello good people, today I will recreate this scan animation which was done by this After Effects creator and I will try to make this in the Vinci Resolve. Uh, the topics I will cover is the can animation, ribbon animation and the jiggle animation. Yeah, let's get started. I will be sharing this whole file of fusion file to you guys, okay? This is actually the model of the can which I made in the fusion with the nodes and I've characterized all the sections so it's much easier for you this wrap okay because I don't like coke anymore and uh, second is this wrap if you still want it okay this is the and the color is already here so you don't have to add any more right and if you're using coke okay I have added these lines too because you know as the, the video of the creator right I wanted to have this because add it in the wireless node now what will happen is i won't be sharing this thing because why would i share this thing this is the main workflow right i will add the transform nodes transform transform slide right all right so let's do the animation first so we'll take we will add a keyframe in the center okay so just drag the Y down and uh, add a keyframe to the center and come to 15 frame, okay, and drag it up. Then come to 30th frame and drag it down again, okay. Now add keyframe to the angle and 0 frame, okay. Tilt it a bit and then at 15 frame, tilt it the opposite way that you have did. Then at 30th frame, make it to zero again. First we'll take care of the displacement. So I want the starting of this of the displacement or the center y value okay to be faster and in the mid section I want it to be slower. So how do I do it? Now you see what I did here is the starting is faster okay so it's going up fast and then it's becoming a stagnant little bit of stagnant here right so it's slowing down here and then again it's going up and then again getting faster at the end now for the angle i want the angle to be the same as this okay it's starting to be fast and ending to be lower now why did um, hmm, interesting smooth them out make a semicircle type and at the end i want it to be faster again just like this now bit of like this maybe so we have it yeah and let's see the animation now Ooh, really good let's see the animation. now for the right angle okay now see when it's coming down it's tilting from left to zero right so what you want is to move the right one now but before we do it make the pivot of the right to the right side okay and pivot of the left side to left side now it's just easier for us add a keyframe to the right angle and then come to frame 40 and then increase it like this i cannot see it because of this. okay now you see 13 make you make it to 12 it's okay and then again in 50th frame make it to one again okay angles work on zero right my bad Mm. So now in the left angle add a keyframe and then come to 60th frame. So we are giving a gap of 10 frames. In 60 frame we will increase it to like this 12 and then in 70th frame again make it to 0. Now we'll select both of this thing and see in the spline it's like this. We'll smooth them out. Now we want the same thing. Okay, The starting will be faster and the ending will be faster too. We have something like this, right? And when we play it, oh, this is good. But you see, like the even in the ending, it's really fast, right? So if you don't like this thing, if you want a overtime decrease in the animation, okay. When you're selecting both of them, okay, select this two, okay, and then click on the shape box. So you have something like this. Now what you can do is bring this thing to zero you see uh so yep and we are done with the animation okay now for the ribbon effect okay what we want is 
okay this is uh, when I'm recording okay don't add the transform okay I'm, I'm not gonna use the transform and uh, yeah so now press ctrl shift V for instance okay Or maybe you know, don't understand the background. It's really okay now. No, we have selected this red, so I will select this red too, and then decrease it. I think the rectangle is enough, to be honest. So we'll add a keyframe at the center, and then bring it down, and then a twenty-five frame or twenty frame. Bring it up. So we're having something like this. And now, if you come and see it and transform you're having you, you see something like this is happening now we need to rotate this thing okay but before that i don't think this is the correct size because if you see if i connect the wireless to oh but it will not connect i need to add an image plane 3d first and connect the wireless to the image plane 3d and then connect this thing to shape 3d you see it's the ribbon is just too big so we will decrease the size of the height and the width both of it and come to the transform okay and uh, in the y value add a keyframe and then yeah 20 25 frame and make it to 600 maybe 600 yeah now you see it's rotating right but with it uh, can is also rotating so you don't want that right so what we can do is add a expression so in an image plane 3d after which is connected to the wireless come to the transform add an expression okay and select this thing and then in shape 3d merge it to just connect it to the y value okay and then add a minus at the starting of the sentence so how we do it by just selecting both of them okay select both of them and come to the image plane 3d add a y in the expression and then do this okay so what else hmm, i think it's done Control C and then Control Shift V. So we are having the shape through the instance. And now, if we see, we cannot really see anything. But if you come to this, this section and then make it to minus zero point zero 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 one, okay. Now I think it's done. So why it's like this? All right. So by decreasing the size, we fixed it. Okay, and now we have it. Same, but it's really okay. You know. No one's gonna know. Now, if we add a render 3D, we can see. Now, for animation, just pull out that rectangle a bit so we can see it. Okay, and uh, then we'll add a keyframe in the Y rotation of the transform of the Bender 3D. We'll add a keyframe in the Bender 3D. Okay, and then adjust to from whichever side we want the starting point to be. Okay, and then lower the rectangle again. Okay, yeah. And after that, just add a keyframe till which frame you like. For me, it's 25. So I've given this wrap and also the Coke one. So choose whichever you like. Then add a transform, add keyframe in the center and make sure you're in zero frame. Then select the edges to wrap. Then come to frame 15 and increase the X value. And then in 30th frame, increase the value a bit more, okay? After 30, add keyframes to in every 20 frames simultaneously, like increasing and decreasing, okay, of the X value. So to get that uh, shift uh, left and right effect, okay? You can copy mine if you like. Now for the can top, you will add a transform and add a keyframe at the 30th frame in Y size, then go back to frame zero and make the Y size to zero. Now come to side lid, add a keyframe in 30th frame, if not added, and select the points of the polygon and change its shape to like this and also do the same for the front body, okay? Now add another keyframe in frame 40 and tilt the can top again a bit and reshape the can tip and body if needed and in frame 50 increase the can top again and fix the other shapes and if the shadows are messed up a bit fix those two with the same process
for the last one Jigo, I've made another wireless here, then added the Blender 3D, Image Plane 3D, and Render 3D. Okay, now come to Blender 3D, decrease the range, okay, and also the center if you want the base to be rigid. Now, for the keyframes, you can add keyframes manually or you can use the anim curves. Okay, I will be using anim curve. Select anim curve, okay, in modifiers. In curve, use elastic and keyframe the offset from zero to negative value of the scale okay and you will get the animation here scale is the strength of the elastic okay and offset when goes to negative value of that scale it makes sure that the object is aligned properly in the center okay you can try it if you like like what i'm saying right and that's it for this video okay i hope you liked it and new videos coming soon okay and if you have any suggestions comment me down and i will make something for you guys okay thank you